Good. Amen. And good morning. Good morning to our community Baptist family and to our friends who are celebrating another worship experience with us here at Community Baptist Church. Unfortunately, today, because of the coronavirus epidemic uh, and scare, uh, many of our churches, if not all of our churches, have been forced to uh, close their doors to the general public in hopes that we, they can stem the tide of the virus. Um, but we know that God is able. And so we're coming to you this afternoon or this morning by way of uh, stream. And so uh, we are excited about the opportunity to provide you with the word of God. The Bible says we're two or three are gathered together touching the green, that God has made a promise to us that he, his spirit, would be in the midst of us. And so I'm so grateful that we're able to bring this broadcast to you by way of stream um, because of the efforts of Reverend Sherrod Graham. Reverend Graham it has been a godsend here to Union Baptist Church and provides us with the technical assistance that we need to reach a dying world and a living world. And so we appreciate his presence here today. And so since the two of us are here today, we know that the Spirit of God is here today touching and agreeing with one another. And I thank God. First, I want to say to all of you, all of God's children, we send our prayers out to a fallen officer, Officer Burrell, Burnell, I'm sorry, Lee. Officer Lee transitioned from this life to the next on early yesterday, early yesterday morning. Um, it was a sad occasion because uh, some children, she has some young children and they no longer have their mom in the flesh with them. So we keep those young persons in prayer. But what made that occasion something very extraordinary and showed a great love for her and a commitment of first responders and other law enforcement personnel with those persons who paraded in the caravan from the city of Chester out to the emergency um, management and medical facility out in line. We keep her family in prayer. We keep the officers that are still with us in prayer because their family circle has been broken. And we pray that God has ushered her, her into his peace and into her his presence. So keep the family in prayer, and as time goes on, we will provide more information concerning her and her going home service, sis, uh, which may be private because of what we're going through throughout our nation with this epidemic. I also want you to keep in prayer these young people here in our community who are, um, as, as in every other community, Violence has taken a surge, and it is our hope that we have a conversation with our young people and provide some healing and some help and some Christ to our young people so that they might have a better understanding that life is so precious and, how, and God has created them in, in his own image and he would have them to live and not die. So we pray for our young people that they might have, have some peace. And as you go through this uh, trial and tribulation, just do the simple things in life, just simple things in life. Good personal hygiene. Good personal hygiene is, uh, is almost like a cure-all. Just practice. You've heard it enough. I'm sure you, those of you who have Restricted yourself to your home and watched enough CNN, enough ABC, enough CBS to, you've heard it enough. They've given you all the instructions. You're probably just tired of the instructions. You know what to do to take care of yourself. We're asking you to do just that. God has been blessing us. He's going to continue to bless us as long as we continue to 
to, to look to him. We, we thank God for the opportunity to look to him. So as we prepare to go into the word of God, uh, before we do here at Community Baptist Church, we always like to ask God to do a few things for us. And so those of you who are listening, and those of you who understand how we operate here at Community Baptist Church, you will repeat after me, right at home. Amen? Amen. Amen. God, please. God, please. Anoint my mind. Anoint my mind. So that I may be. So that I may be. In perfect peace. In perfect peace. Anoint my tongue. Anoint my tongue. So that the words of my mouth. So that the words of my mouth. Will be acceptable unto you. Will be acceptable unto you. Anoint my heart. Anoint my heart. So that it might be clean. So that it might be clean. Anoint my hands. Anoint my hands. So that I may serve you. So that I may serve you. And anoint my feet. And anoint my feet. So that my footsteps. So that my footsteps. Will always. Will always. Be ordered by you. Be ordered by you. Amen. 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 That is our creed. That is our declaration to God. Asking and seeking God for his anointing power. Because the anointing makes the difference. Let me do one more thing and then we're going to go into the word. Many of you have been concerned about how to give and what we need to do while we're going through this crisis situation. How can we provide our tithes and our offerings? I got my checkbook here today. So I'll be leaving mine. My tithes, my offerings, and also our pledges concerning our window project here in, in, in community back, at Community Baptist Church. So, let me just read this to you. It says, we are excited about a new way of giving that is now available to the members and supporters of Community Baptist Church. You can give by using Cash App. I told you I love Reverend Graham because he knows all this kind of stuff and I know. <laughs> cash App. Our cash tag, this is our cash tag so that you might be able to use it, is the dollar sign the word give, G-I-V-E, -E, the number two, and then C-B-C, -C, the letter C-B-C. -C. Let me say that again. Our cash tag is the dollar sign, the word give, G-I-V-E, -E, the letter two, I'm sorry, the number two, and then the letters C. B C, which stands for Community Baptist Church. Just be sure to designate what your C is for tithes or offerings or building funds or your window pledge. Just be mindful, you have to designate exactly what your, uh, what your C is going to be given towards. Other forms of uh, online giving are coming. We just need you to stay tuned for more information. To our email family, uh, our email family we will be sending you information on giving and tithing. You can also go to our church website. It's cbcchester.org. cbcchester.org. If you need any further information, don't forget to just call the church 610-874-4154. Eight seven four four one five two. I'm going to um, preach with the aid and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to be coming from the Book of Hebrews, the Book of Hebrews, beginning at the eleventh chapter. Uh, I think it's. First, yeah, beginning at the eleventh chapter, the first and the second verses. And I think this is a good time to talk about this portion of scripture because uh, our faith is most assuredly being tested right now. It says in 
Hebrews 11th chapter, the first verse, it reads in this manner. Now faith is the assurance, the substance of things hopeful, the conviction of things not seen. For by it, the men of old gained approval. Now faith is the assurance, the substance of things hoped for, the conviction, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, men of old gain approval. I just want to preach under the anointing on the thought, something you've heard in the past, but more than ever do we need right now. We've come this far by faith. Our Father, my God, is once again, O oh Lord, that we have come into your presence with thanksgiving. God, we thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you, O oh God, for yet another day's journey for which we are so grateful and so glad. And, O oh Lord, as we stand here behind this, your sacred desk, we pray, O oh God, that you would hide that is behind the cross. Hide him so that they might see the Christ within. My storage is empty, and I render myself available unto you. I pray, O oh God, that you simply fill my cup. Fill it till it overflows. Fill it to some man, some woman, some boy, some girl might come running to say, what must I do to be saved? And dear Lord, when all is said and done, we take no credit, honor, or glory. That, O oh God, belongs completely and totally to you. We ask, O oh God, that you would forgive us of our sin, recognizing that all is sin and come short of your glory. God, we know that if you bless us, we shall be blessed. If you keep us, we shall be kept. We, if you preach to us, we shall indeed preach. We want you to know that even at a time like this, we love you today. We love you today. We love you today. God, we even love you more right now because you keep us in perfect peace because our mind is stayed on thee. And so we say this prayer in the mighty and majesty name of your son, Jesus the Christ, with thanksgiving, our soul says, amen. Amen, amen. To the sick and shut in, uh, to uh, Ms. Benzina, and uh, Bates, to all those who are, who are going through some physical challenges, the names I did not mention, we pray that God is keeping you. We know that God is keeping you. Today you have a number of other persons who have joined you in the sick and shut-in role. And so we are praying, and I want you to be praying for us. I dare you, I dare you to give God a play, praise cat clap right where you are, in your homes, in your bedroom, in your dining room, in your man cave or your woman cave. Amen. I dare you to give God a praise clap and look at somebody, if you're in a house with somebody, just tell them we've come this far. We've come this far. By faith. By faith. Come on, come on, give him some praise. Hallelujah. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Watch this thing, church. We find here in the book of Hebrews where the author reminds us how our faith in God carries us through the trials and or tribulations of this whole world. He provides us with that blessed assurance that says, I can, I really can, I, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. That assurance that reminds us that only what you do for Christ will truly last. That's right. That faith, that faith, the faith that compels us to stand on the promises of Almighty God. Promises, concise, and directions as to how to preserve your life. A faith that compels us, compels us, compels us, and pushes us. Well, if you look at what God is doing for us and through us as we go through our trials and our tribulations, you'll realize that God is simply saying, trust me. Trust me to carry you through whatever you're going through. Trust me to guide you through whatever your trials and your tribulations may be. Yeah. Trust me to hold you even when it seems as though you have stumbled 
and fell. Trust me to lift you up, even through this storm. Trust me. Problem is, sometimes we lose our trust in God and our faith in God because fear, mm. fear and faith don't go together. That's right. There is no fear when it comes to trusting God. We simply hold to his unchanging hand. And if we do as God has instructed us, everything will be all right. Even as we go through this mess that we're going through, watch this, in 2 Chronicles 7 14, God says, he tells us that if my people who are called by my name would simply humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive them of their sin, and heal the land. God goes on to say in Isaiah 40 and 13, For I am the Lord your God, who upholds your right hand, who says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Yes. Isn't it good to know that the God we serve said simply trust me, you don't have to worry about this, you don't have to worry about a trial, you don't have to worry about a tribulation, you don't even have to worry about an epidemic. Come on. If you trust me, trust me. If you lean on me, yeah. I will bring you through it. Tell somebody I'm going to get through it. I'm going to get through Simply it. Simply because I trust God. Yes, sir. Hebrews 16, 16, he says, For men swear by one greater than themselves, with them an oath given, and con as confirmation is an end of every dispute. In the same way, God desired even more to show to the heirs of the promise. Watch this. That's why I like God. And you can trust God because God, when God makes a promise, it all is always kept. Yes, always. We make promises and we say we're going to help somebody and we say we're going to do this and we say we're going to do that. But man is built to break promises. Hmm. Promise, promise, promise. God said you can have everything, everything in paradise. I've given you paradise. Just promise. Don't touch the tree. But instead, promises are made in our sight to be broken. Mm. But God never ever, tell somebody, God never breaks a promise. God never breaks a promise. God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake him. Promised by God. And, and guess what? Even though we go through what we go through, God keeps his promise. Even though we think we're standing alone when hellhounds are all around us and it seems like the oppression of the world are on our back, God said, I promised you. Promised you. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He said, I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, you may be also. A promise of God. God said, I'm already there. I'm prepared a place for you. I got a new home. I got a new walk. When this life is over, I promised you a brand new home. Promise of God. He said, all that the Father has given unto me, I will in no wise cast out. A promise of God. That means that I'm saved, sanctified, and I'm set apart. That even though the trouble may come my way, God said, I've still got you. I'm still holding on because the Father has given you unto me. Yes. And because God the Father has given you to God the Son. You're saved. Ain't no one saved when well, I'm, I'm messed up now. I'm, I done lost my right. I done lost my ability to go to heaven. God said, I will in no way. No way. Cast out a promise. So much of a promise he told the thief on the cross. This day. He didn't wait. Yeah. He told him this day. This he day. didn't tell him, come back and see me next week. He didn't tell him to send me an email. Hit me up on a text. He said, this day. This day. Thou shalt be with me in paradise. Woo! That's what I like about God. That's what I like about God. He goes on to say the unchangeableness of his purpose interposed with an oath. Here, here it is. Here it is. So that two unchangeable things in which it is impossible. Impossible. For God to lie. Come on, somebody will give yeah. God some praise right there. Two unchangeable things. Impossible, impossible for God to lie. Yeah. Two unchangeable things. God's promise and God's oath. They never change. 
Yes. That's what I love about God. We change up every, well, we'll change up like a light bulb. We'll change like we change suits. We'll change like we change shoes. But God is the same yesterday, today, and forever more. And when God says something, he means it. Yes. Yes, sir. God's word does not need any confirmation from someone else. You don't need to be to be justified from somebody else. God's word is reliable because God Himself is faithful. Watch this. Yes, he woke us up this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blood still running warm in our veins. Yes, yes. Breath still going through our bodies. Still got food. Well, we got more than enough food now. Cause everybody decided to clean out the market. <laughs> You're right Still about. got food and some for our table. In other words, we don't have to worry about God going back on his word. If God said it, then that settles it. Somebody would give God some praise yes. right there. That's you it. Tell somebody, yeah. God said it, that settles it. That settles it. That's it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, 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 now was the time, church, that going through what we are going through in this old world, going through what we're going through nationwide and worldwide, now is the time for our faith to kick in overdrive. Mm. Everybody's saying something and everybody's causing a little confusion and everybody's talking about this. And now folks won't even touch each other. Folks won't even hug each other. Folks don't even look at each other too hard now because they're fear of that. Mm. Same folks and family members won't even get close. As a matter of fact, when they do get close, now abuse, domestic abuse has risen because folks stay at home. Wow. Ain't got to be around one another. Isn't that something? Maybe God trying to tell you something. Hmm. Maybe he's trying to tell you you need to spend more time with your children. Maybe he's trying to say you need to spend more time with your spouse. Maybe he's telling you you need to spend more time with, 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 with your grandchildren. Maybe. He's telling you, you need to spend more time with, with him. <laughs> yes. Every now and then, God has to do something to get our attention. Yep. Now that we're all locked up and locked down, walking around the house trying to figure out what to eat again, mm -hmm. what to look at again, how much CNN can you watch, how much Fox News can you watch, how much chicken can you eat? God said, how about you just sit down since I have your attention, since I got you right here, why don't you sit down and have a little talk with me? Yes, yes. So I'm going to say, just a little talk with Jesus makes things right. If it's just a little talk, just what, happen, just what happens if you have a whole conversation yeah. with him. Yes, sir. He said, now is the time where you can share with me, when I can share with you, and I can talk to you, and I can instruct you, and I can guide you, and I can wrap my arms around you, and we can abide one in another. Mm. Tell somebody it's time to get closer to God. It's time to get closer to God. We are so caught up on this coronavirus, and, and we can fail to realize that God is providing us with a faith. Yes. Watch this thing. He said, if we had the faith of a mustard seed. Mustard seed is so small you can't hardly see it. He said, if you had the faith of a mustard seed, you can say to the mountains, mountains, be thy removed. In other words, the people of faith would look to God. If the people of faith would just simply trust God. If the people of the trace would hold on to God, if the people of faith would just simply walk with God, I'm talking about people of faith. Yes. If the, the, the same people that come to the house of worship Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, now you're on lockdown in your own houses, how often have you walked with God, talked with God, looked to God, asked God, God, will you, will you work it out for me? Anyhow, in spite of what's going on, if you look to God, guess what? I guarantee you God will make a way out of no way. It seems like there's no way out right now. But watch this. Ephesians 2 and 8 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is a gift, yes, it's a gift. of God. 
God has given you the gift of faith to simply trust in him. To simply lean the gift. Tell somebody that God's got the gift. God's got the gift. And I need him to use it. And I need him to use it. And see, when God gives you the gift of faith, you can walk by faith and not by sight. You can step out on the waters of the world and not sink. You can run and not get weary. You can hug somebody and not get the virus. Come on. Woo! <laughs> We've been sick all our lives. And God has still been blessing us over and over. And people, people are afraid to cough. <laughs> people are afraid to sneeze. You've been doing that forever. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, there's something running around here that made that that been, that has been created. And now we're afraid to get close to one another, even our children. Somebody say, but God. But God. But God will heal the land. God will wipe away all our fears. God will fix it. How do, you, how, how do we get that faith, Pastor Kirkland? How, see, how do we get that faith that you're talking about? Hebrews 12 and 2 says, watch this, watch this. That's how you get it. Fixing our eyes on Jesus. Let me say that again. Hebrews 12 and 2 says, Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Tell somebody, I'm looking to him. I'm looking to him. I'm looking to him. I'm looking to him to fix it. I'm looking to him to straighten it out. I'm looking to him for a cure. I'm looking to him for a healing. I'm looking to him for a cleansing. I'm looking to him to turn to heal this land. Yes, Tell somebody I'm looking to him. I'm looking to him. I look to him for help. Yeah. I look to him for joy. I look to him for peace. Yes, I look to him for love. I look to him for healing. Yeah. I look to him for deliverance. I look to him for comfort. I look to him for change. I hope look to him to make a way out of nowhere. I look to him yeah. to fix it. Somebody say, fix it, Lord, fix it. Fix it, Lord, fix it. Mm. Yes, sir. Get so messed up out here waiting for somebody else to do something. Waiting for somebody else to provide a cure. What can wash away my sins? Nothing. Mm. But the blood of Jesus. Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing. Yes. But the blood of Jesus. What will put our family congregation back together? Nothing. Nothing. But the, but the blood. blood of Jesus. That's why we look to him. Yes, sir. We look to him. Woo! The president can't do it. Nope. The government can't do it. Nope. Even doctors have to fall on their knees and ask God. Give me the wisdom and give me the understanding. And give me the skills, not only to look to you, but to be used by you. Yes. In a serious situation, so serious situations take serious and drastic measures. Absolutely. Look to Him. And when we look to God, what we when we look to God, when we look to God, our faith in God goes strong. And the longer we look to God, the stronger we get. And the closer we get to God, the stronger our faith. We have a song called My Faith Looks Up to Thee. And see, when I, when I look to the hills, look to the hills, look to the hills, look past all the distractions in my life, and I look to the hills, I look past all the trees and the mountains in my life, I look to the hills, and I see God. And I fix my eyes on God, knowing that he's a God that keeps his promise. Knowing that he's a God that never fails. Yes. Knowing that he's a God that loves me so much that even when a virus springs up, God has the power. Somebody say power. Power. God has the power yeah. to shut it, down. shut it down. God has the power Come to on. fix it. All you got to do is believe, trust, and obey. Believe that God can. Yes. Woo! That's what I like about God because all you gotta do is just lean on him. Lean on him. You ain't gotta do nothing else but just lean on him. And when you lean on him, you feel the power of God. 
And when you feel the power of God, God will endow you with power so that you might do greater things. That you might increase the faith in others. And so I thank God that we've been through some stuff in our lives. We've been through wars. We've been through floods. We've been through famines. Mm. We've been through depressions. We've been through recessions. Mm. We've been through fires. We've been through floods. We've been through it all. But through it all. Through it all. Through it all. Yeah. I've learned to trust in Jesus. Yes, sir. Brother Graham, I learned to trust in God. Yes, sir. And when I put my faith in my trust in God, when the storms raise, all we got to do is look at him and say, peace. 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 Peace still. I dare you to tell somebody, I dare you, I dare you, I dare you to stretch out your hand over the city today and say, peace. Peace. Be still in the name of Jesus. Because I, I look to God. Yes. When you start exercising your faith and releasing your faith and trusting in God, mm. He'll make a way out of no way. Out of no way. Come on. We've come this far. We've come this far. By faith. Lean on the Lord. Yes. Trusting in His Word. Yes. Songwriter said, He's never failed me. And that's where I stopped. Because the song says he's never failed me yet. yet. Right, right. <laughs> Somebody don't realize that there is no failure in God. In God. We've come this far by faith. And if he's brought us this far, he didn't bring us this far to leave us. Yes. He took the children of Israel as far as the Red Sea. He could have stopped right there. But because of faith, the faith of Moses, hmm. he parted the waters and took them across. We've come this far. Come this far. By faith. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego could have burned in the fire. But because of their faith yes. in God, he showed up and showed out. Faith. Paul was on a ship that was destined to be destroyed and the people there with him. But because of his faith in God, God brought him to shore, and some of them even on broken pieces. Mm -hmm. We got some broken pieces in our lives, mm -hmm. but we've come this far by the grace of God yes. and the love of God by faith. Our Father, our God, is one single Lord that we are grateful. I'm thankful, O oh God, that you have allowed us to stand behind this, your sacred desk. And we pray, O oh God, that a word is going forth that will touch the hearts and souls and minds of me. We pray, O oh God, that we are reminded that even though we're going through a storm and some trials and tribulations, even right now, it is our faith in you that keeps us, yes. that protects us, that guides us, that girds us up. And so, Lord God, as we have come this far by faith. God, our, our faith is stronger than ever in you. We pray, oh God, that you would continue to use us in a mighty and special way. We pray, oh God, that by trusting in you, by believing in you, by holding on to you, knowing that you will make a way out of no way. We pray, oh God, that you would make us stronger, wiser, and better. We say this prayer in the mighty and miraculous name of your son, Jesus the Christ. With thanksgiving, our soul says, amen. 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 We thank God for each and every one of you who are uh, listening and watching. Uh, as we were preaching, fortunately, I thought I saw somebody at the door trying to get in. That's a good thing. Some people still step out on faith. <laughs> we thank God. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. And we didn't shut down because we are just, God reminds us that we live in a world of laws and that we must follow the laws of others who govern over us.
But I'm praying and hoping and praying that God will provide a way out of no way so that we can come back to this and assemble together as brother and sister. Assemble together as the body of Christ. Assemble together and share one with another. It's funny. It says you never miss your water till your well runs dry. <laughs> never miss your church in the congregation till you can't get to the house. Mm. Amen. 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 So we thank God. We thank God for each and every one of you. Don't forget um, your offerings, your tithes. We're giving you that information. Please govern yourself accordingly. We love you desperately. Here at Community Baptist Church. I thank God once again for Reverend Graham and his assistance as we were able, we were able to provide you with a word from on high and an opportunity to hear from heaven and an, and an opportunity, even though not physically together, spiritually, we're connected and we're sharing in one another's love. Amen. 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 So before you turn your TV off and Pull the covers up, because some of you still in bed. <laughs> Amen. Watch this. I see. No. <laughs> Before you do that, we're going to have a prayer. We're going to have a benediction, and we're just going to thank God. We will continue to, uh, to minister to you this way until we hear back from our, our governor, we're going to pray, we're going to seek God, we're going to fast, believing that God is going to clear all this up. They're going to say somebody else came up with a, miraculously came up with a, a cure. The cure is Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Jesus the Christ, he's been with us from the beginning of time. Amen. And so, we, we know, we know where our strength and our help comes from. We know where our cure comes from. We pray for those who are going through physical challenge even right now. But we thank God for each and every one of you. Father God, we thank you for what our eyes have seen, our ears have heard, and our hearts have felt. We thank you, O oh God, for the reading of your word. Oh God, we thank you for the gospel of Jesus Christ. We thank you, O oh God, for reminding us how far we've come and how we've gotten there. We've come this far by faith, not in ourselves, but faith in you. And so God, thank you for holding us up and thank you for guiding us and thank you for ordering our footsteps. And thank you, oh God, for encouraging us to encourage ourselves in you. God, we're grateful. Mm -hmm. Now as we prepare to leave this place and go to the next, we pray, oh God, that you Angels of protection be camped around about us. We pray, O oh God, that you provide us with traveling mercies and allow us to arrive to our homes and our destinations safe and sound. Yes. And we pray, O oh God, that you would touch each and every one of the sound of my voice. Provide them with a covering. Let them know that earth has no sorrow. This is to the Burrell family. Earth has no sorrow. This is to our police department. Earth has no sorrow. This is to the families of those who lost loved ones thus far. Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Yes. Now, oh God, may your grace and the love of Jesus Christ and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide within us henceforth and forevermore. Let the children in the church of the living God say, Amen. 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 Have a blessed day and remember.